All right. Uh, I was taking apart some struts, and I figured I'd do a quick video on it. This is pretty easy, but it can seem pretty daunting. Really, the only tools you need to take them apart: uh, spring compressors. Uh, you can rent these at uh, Auto Parts or Craigan, wherever O'Reilly's. And then I use a uh, uh, wireless impact. It's pretty handy, and you can do it in just a few minutes. Uh, this is the front strut for an MR2. Um, this one isn't really together. I just put the nut back on just to kind of show you. This is the more tricky of them because you don't have as many uh, coils on the spring. But the basic idea is you get the, uh, on one side, when the spring comes up close to the spring mount, you get one of these as high up as you can against that one. And then on the second side, you get where the spring comes down to the bottom here, you get this one as far over as you can there, and you grab it like this. And then using the impact, which is a 19 millimeter, you can zap these things down, compress the spring, and then conveniently enough, the nut on top is also 19 millimeter. You might have a tough time getting it off without an uh, a impact. Um, you don't need an impact, obviously, for these. It just makes life a lot faster. So that's how you do the front. I'll actually show you right now how to do the rears. Let me just get these things off. And again, this one's actually only held on. Luckily, these uh, springs aren't compressed too crazy, uh, but I wouldn't suggest doing it without the spring compressor. You can see, so I don't have the top strut mount on here, but boom, it comes off like that. Now, the bottoms, this one is still live. You have a lot more coils, so this is really easy. Just uh, pick a couple convenient ones. Uh, since this thing is still kind of set up for what the front. I'm just putting just a little tension on it so it doesn't slide around on me. It could get stuck as you compress it. Obviously, it changes its orientation to all right. Now it's free. Right, two millimeter on the top here. Oops. This one's a toughie, apparently. The uh, strut mount comes off the top, the spring comes right off, and now if you're disassembling it further, there's a gland nut here that you can remove. Uh, one of the easiest ways that I've seen on the internet is you put this in a vise here, you put, uh, you know, you could even an extension like this is a half inch extension through the holes here, or, well, something that will fit, and you take it out that way or a uh, monkey wrench on the top. I just shot a video showing how easy it was to take the struts apart and of course uh, on my last one I come across a problem. And you guys probably will too. These are older cars, they're rusting and all that. So how do you deal with that? Um, well you can see here I got the, the spring compressors on and the spring is compressed. Uh, the first issue was that this nut was a 23 millimeter instead of a 19, or actually probably a 20, but the 23 seems to be 22, but the 23 seems to be working just fine. Um, when I started uh, loosening this top nut with the impact, of course, the entire strut damper cylinder started spinning. So this portion up here started spinning along with the nut. So I wasn't getting anywhere. Um, there's a couple of different ways you could try to to prevent that from happening, one is if you happen to have a piece of rubber around, you can try to wrap it and take some vice grips to it and then uh, try again. Just a little bit of tension may be all it needs to get that nut loose. In my case, 
uh, it's gotten to the point where that wasn't working. So what I have to end up doing is um, the cylinder, notice is nicely polished. It's because there's a seal here uh, that the cylinder, when it, when it uh, goes up and down, it, this prevents the gases and the, uh, uh, the oils inside the shock, the damper, from leaking. Now, uh, you don't want to damage this because when it passes through the seal, it can damage the seal or, just, uh, or not allow it to seal, and you start getting leakage. So that is bad. Um, however, at the very top here, there's a rubber bump stop. And it's right here now. I pushed it down. It's normally sitting up inside, up against the top here of the strut now. Um, and I'm clamping a vice grip directly to the cylinder now. That extra bite, and you have to get it real tight, is, is what it required to get this final nut off. So uh, that would be one suggestion if you're having a, a particularly difficult uh, strut disassembly. So, all right, good luck with all your endeavors.